a name for this segment. You know, we I, I don't want to just call it guilty pleasures. You know, mm-hmm. I want to call it mm-hmm. something that doesn't sound so dirty. You know, I was thinking of hidden desires. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should call this segment. <laughs> Secret lust. Secret lust and Secret lust and hidden desires and guilty pleasures and go to sleep. It's hidden gems, hidden desire theater. You know, we got some ideas. It's like you woke up and crapped out a jam. Oops. It's a jam, but it came out of your butt. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I left you hanging. I didn't know where to go with that, man. I don't even know. So, anyway, this is a segment where we do like a reverse. We came up with the idea box. during the writer strike, and now these studios are being fucking hubris, just fucking just stupid motherfuckers. Oh, you know what? Well, we lost this strike, but we'll win this one. <laughs> So yeah, we're still gonna dumb do, motherfuckers. Whoa. So so we're gonna do retro. We came up again. with it, but we never went through with it. We did one, did we? Yeah. What was it? I did Nacho Libre. What I do? You did singles. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought it was just a movie that nobody knew. Well, that's what you did with this fucking segment. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sloppy. Back to the show. You know what? You know you you get. Get your ass to Moss. Make your point. No, I'll you know, go first. You have all of these uh, drops, and we've li- heard like four throughout the show. Use oh. some other ones. Oh, oh, Mr. Think of the fucking comedy! We've already heard that guy. Dude, you know what? <laughs> I'm challenging I'll drink you. your blood. <laughs> anyway. I think we already heard that I'll one. I'll go too. first. We'll flip flop them because we're going to do this and the long box. So oh. think of it as a double shot of fun. Uh, Fudge? <laughs> Fudge. So, of course, this is a movie that most people hate, reasonably, <laughs> but I love. I want to talk about Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Mm. Otherwise known as Ghost Rider 2. Yeah, but the name of it is Ghost Rider. Whatever. Friend of the show, Luke Moyer, said he prefers to have movie sequels be the colon, you know? So, like, Captain America, colon, Civil War, or... Winter Soldier. It I depends, prefer that too. It depends on the series. Spider Man Two or Iron Man Two. It depends on the series. When it's well done, like uh, No Way Home, uh, Far From Home, and then it's Homecoming was first. Okay, so Homecoming, No Way Home, and then Far uh, From Home, No Way Home, and then No Way Home. That's interesting the way they did that. Sometimes it sucks. Yeah. Anyway, Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, Nicolas Cage returns, and that's it. <laughs> there's no Sam Elliott. There's no Eva Mendez. Um, it's just Nicolas Cage. Oh, Wes, ben- Wes uh, Bentley doesn't return? As no. what's his name? No. No. We're just doing Satan himself. Um, it's different. Even it's not Peter, Peter Fonda didn't come back either. I'm also, surprised they got him to do the first uh, one. It's directed by the guys that did Crank. Um, not both a bad those movie. movies. I like those movies. They're, They're f- interesting. And when you watch this movie, you can tell these guys made it. Like, oh, yeah, this makes sense to the guys that did Crank. Oh, these this. are the guys who do meth on set. Okay. And ride skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> and just film shit. Um, it is it is so much of that vein. So it's there's something to be said about those Crank movies in this style of just gonzo action movie. Like, it commits to being this edgy, stupid movie and just goes for it. And I think it just commits to being insane. And it knows what it is. And I'm not saying in any way it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make it very clear. If someone just say this movie sucks and it's terrible, I would say yes. But that's also kind of why I enjoy it. You mm. know what I mean? Like there's something about it where I just, I, uh, I applaud when a movie just goes for it. Yeah. Even if it's not good and not executed properly, I respect that they're like, we're going to go in the a completely gonna be, different yeah. direction, and this is what it's going to be. The bad movies that are really bad are the ones that continually change direction. And aren't consistent. In their or t- or yeah. don't understand what... The, the movie itself, or the people making the movie, don't understand what they're doing. The tone is wrong, whatever, in different places. I think the, this movie is also guilty of breaking its own rules, but... <laughs> Several times. Again, not great. But what I love about it is it commits, man. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> now, given between the two, I think the first one is a better movie, even though that movie isn't. I've only seen parts of it. It's meh. It's not, you know, it's not great. 
It's not terrible, but I think I love it for how trashy it is. Yeah. Same, like, Nick Cage, they just didn't even, they're like, do whatever the fuck you want as Johnny Blaze in this movie. And he does. He just does. Like, there's one scene. <laughs> I love he's where you're just like, he just does. He just does, because there's one scene where he's in terror, and this whole time. So you remember the first movie, he's like, I'm going to control the Ghost Rider, and he yeah, rides yeah, off, yeah. and his head turned into a flaming skull, because he could do it like him. This movie says, fuck all that. He can't do it anymore properly. Like, the Ghost Rider is consuming Johnny Blaze. Like, okay, he yeah. he has a f- hunger to constantly punish, Okay, you know. Guilty. The fucking penance stare or whatever. Can, can we have the pizza time? Because I haven't seen this yet. I mean, you're not. <laughs> <clears throat> pizza time. There. God, work, soundboard. Come on! What are you doing? Sloppy. Get those people air off. Get those hosts air off. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, and th- it's just... There's a scene where he's interrogating a guy. Nick Cage is. And at this point in the movie, we're learning that, like, again, he can't really control the rioter anymore. The rioter is just hell-bent on putting his, punishing as many souls nice. as possible. hell-bent. Hey, I see what I did. And uh, he's talking to this guy, and he's like, well, f- before he even gets there, by the way, Danny Ketch is the son of the devil, apparently, in, what? This, in this movie. Okay. Yes, I agree. What? So he's like half, he's supposed to be the new vessel for the devil, because the devil can only walk on earth through human con- like conduits. Does Danny Ketch become the ghostwriter at all? Not in this movie. He's a kid in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so... I don't want to. Do you want me? I can spoil it. I don't care. Tell me what happens. But I just, I just want to talk about the moments that stuck out to me. Go like, for it. Jesus, this movie's terrible, but I love it. Um, You're not going to spoil anything. Go for it. He's interrogating this guy to find because Danny gets kidnapped by the devil's henchmen, which one of the henchmen he turns into get the ability to like manipulate darkness and make things decay. Okay. Which is kind of cool. Sure. But. It automatically is flawed because he's driving a truck, and my wife was like, "Why wouldn't the truck disintegrate while he's driving it? Because it would rust." Because he's the whole gag is he's picking up food and it's decaying in his hands, and it's like, "Well, why wouldn't the car decay?" You know what? The movie just says, "Fuck that! Don't pay attention to this. Keep moving." You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what this movie does, and this movie goes at a fucking clip. It is like you those every these Neveline Taylor movies. That's the name of the directing duo. They're just, they're on a rail. And they're like, we're getting to the fucking end. We don't care. We don't care. Rails of cocaine. Oh, baby. And you know oh, what? Baby. They don't care about where it's Sounds going. Good to and me. you know why? Because Nick Cage grabs a guy and goes, you got to understand. The rider's going to come out. He's knocking on the door. He's knocking on the door. Like, that's not an exaggeration. That is the line delivery in this movie. And if that that's the breaking point. If you're not in for the ride, get off. Because it only gets more insane after that. And I got to tell you, I strapped in, buddy. And I finished that movie, and that's only like the second time I've seen that movie. And I've it heard, gets worse, but somehow better I've heard <laughs> with the, every watch. What, one movie about He's, Nick Cage's like, you know, time... When he was just making yeah. whatever and doing whatever, and, but he actually likes comic books. Like the so Wicker that's why Man, he, he liked doing this movie, these movies. But yeah, the Wicker Man, oh that movie, Whew. the Beast, <laughs> that that, but Ghost Rider, <laughs> and <laughs> and then they have fun with it, and they have fun of like he. Their whole thing is like he doesn't just possess a bike in this movie. So he possesses. They're at a construction site, so he can. Tra- uh, he gets like this big crane that it just whoosh, hellfire. Awesome. And, like, which I was like, that's a cool concept. Awesome. That he could possess vehicles. Like that's a cool idea. Do you remember when Robbie Reyes in the Avengers comic possessed Avengers Mountain? Yeah. It was, yeah. It's jumping. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. Uh, okay. No, but yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. And that kind of shit. That is was cool. in this movie before. Yeah, this is 2012. I think is when this movie came out. But there's also a scene Ray, where Ray he jumps on the now. back of this big, like, military-looking Jeep and jumps on the back of it and possesses it. And again, it, like, the wheels turn into fire and it looks like this demon car. I'm like, there's some things in this movie that I'm like, that I feel like really cool ideas. Yeah, yeah. But it's so choppy and weird <laughs> and it's it's just, it's there's a part where a dude shoots the Ghost Rider in the mouth 
but he like catches all the bullets in his mouth and then spits them back out with like hellfire and shit on the guy and it just like kills him. It's crazy. Why? Like, why? Right. And there's, so there's moments like that, but then there's really cool moments in between. And I just, I think it commits to. Be, it feels a lot like a Ghost Rider comic book. Okay. Of like the like 90s you know it, it like it reminds me of venom where it feels like this mm. weird time vessel of this particular part of the character you know good or bad i prefer to shoot like it i know a lot of people don't and again i want to be very clear if you think this movie sucks you're not wrong i'm aware this segment is about movies we love but we know most people hate yeah, and yeah, i yeah. i they don't necessarily need to suck and oh, you, the ending is bad. Like, there's <laughs> what is the ending? Every critique you can have for this movie. What is I, the ending? I agree with you, but I still enjoy it. Um, well, he just throws the devil. They f- he finally stops the devil. So, the, oh my god! So there's a whole storyline where he wants to get rid of the curse. So he gets rid of the curse because uh, Idris Elba's character is with this like ancient holy men. They're like monk kind of characters sure, sure. with uh, Christopher Lambert. Sure, the guy who played Raiden in the Mortal Kombat sure. movie. The second one? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, no, the he, first was, one. he was, was Highlander. One. He was the first he was one. Also and Highlander, Highlander. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he's in it briefly, but um, they know a way to get rid of the Ghost Rider curse, so that's why Johnny Cage, or Johnny uh, Blaze, goes after Danny Ketch to help him, because they're trying to stop Danny Ketch becoming Weird, Johnny devil. Cage is a Mortal Kombat character. I know, that's why weird. I said it weird. Weird. Um, so, Idris Elba removes the curse. So Idris Elba, Danny Ketch's mom, I can't remember her name, and Nick Cage, uh, Johnny Blaze, go assault on the compound where all these like politicians and world leaders are going to watch the, the devil transform into, transfer his soul or his vessel, leave the old man body he's in. And this whole thing is eventually stopped by Johnny Blaze. He's about to get decayed because Idris Elba fights off the bad guy that can decay things, but the guy kills him. Then he goes to kill Johnny uh, Blaze. But for some reason, because this movie loves to break its own rules, Johnny Blaze hasn't decayed yet, even though the other guy is clearly touching him and it would decay him And by the time that Danny Ketch comes to the scene. But regardless, I'm going too long on this. Danny yeah, Ketch, what the fuck? Danny Ketch comes in because I want you to know how ridiculous this movie is. And he goes, wait. You said I have half the powers of you, right? Talk about the devil. He goes, yeah. And then Nick Cage, Johnny Blaze, looks at Danny Ketch and goes, do it. And the kid just, like, spits, or, like, yeah, just spits hellfire onto his face, and it turns him back into the Ghost Rider. (laughs) So we can have the third act fight. (sighs) Ah, Moto movie. I went way too long. I apologize. But that is... What the fuck? Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, good luck trying to find it to watch, though, if you want to sit through too many ads. But you can rent it on Amazon for like a buck, probably. But uh, actually, you know what? Don't spend money on this movie. <laughs> anyway, what do you, you want to talk about, bitch? Um, <laughs> wow. Um, pew pew, quip. Pew pew, quip. That's the whole show. Um, <laughs> 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 off panel, off job, with Jake and Tyler. 